So here I am, right? I, I, by the way, um, within two months, I became like a Dilbert cartoon, okay? Really. Like, like getting there at one minute time, leaving right, at five o'clock, right? So I had gone from somebody um, who I, cons I considered myself to have a really good work ethic, right? Um, and they had me at hello, right? I, I, I got in there. I was excited. I was enthusiastic. I, I really thought that I was going to make a difference for this organization. And within the span of two months, and this is a true story, I actually got nauseous driving to work. Thankfully, it was a short drive. <clears throat> but you have to really get that, right? You have to get what that's like to actually dislike your job so much that you actually get nauseous. Again, 72% of Americans have taken another job tomorrow. And by the way, this whole issue of engagement and such, right, it kind of goes like this very, very quickly. Once somebody gets engaged, it's like having one foot out of the boat, you're done, you're out of the boat. So I was really confronted, quite frankly, with this issue, right, with my maintaining, right, who I am as a human being, as somebody with a really high work ethic, to all of a sudden, having a really poor work ethic. And that just didn't make sense for me, right? Because I should be who I am, right? My father always had this, you either have the right stuff or you don't have the right stuff, know what I mean, right? And I think there is some truth to that, right? You need the right stuff. But what I really came to realize was this, that it's really about the environment, right? Because this is you know, an oak tree growing in uh, New Jersey, probably would grow out here as well like this. In the right environment, people and plants thrive. Imagine a time in your life where you were in a particular job with a particular supervisor, and you really thrived. And then, and this really recently happened to a friend of mine, switched, got a new supervisor, and complete, completely disengaged. Right? Or can you imagine even a friend of yours that it's happened to, or you're really disengaged and you get a new supervisor, you become really engaged. You didn't change. What changed was your environment, which included the leadership. Now, in the wrong culture, again, same potential, same you know, acorn. So in the wrong environment, we end up looking like this. We wither. Right? We wither in terms of our productivity. And it has an awful lot to do about our environment, about the culture of the organization. Culture was mentioned. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. So um, how do we create an environment that allows our staff to flourish and give maximum discretionary effort? Again, the hypothesis here is if we create the right environment, we allow our staff to thrive. And what that looks like is providing maximum discretionary effort, going above and beyond. So you may want to think about yourself and in the notes. Um, what are the aspects to this culture or the aspects to this environment in your leadership that is promoting people to thrive versus causing them to wither?